was telling you earlier, like for Willie, I don't think there was a division. I he his his life was always open to other people, intellectually and personally. And so, like I said, he would host. He loved the holidays. He loved Thanksgiving. He loved he loved to cook big meals. One of the key factors for Bill Longhrinkel was he had great respect for his fellow human beings. He was gracious, courteous. He wanted to help. He wanted to listen to what you had to say. That's what we wanted for a graduate professor in archaeology. I guess my earliest memories of Bill are just of a really pleasant, outgoing, funny guy wearing plaid shirts. I don't know why I always associate Bill Longacre with short sleeve plaid shirts, but I do. And in addition to those personal qualities, he brought with him a full understanding of what Benford had to say, uh, an ability to decide what was the best of Benford's ideas and what was garbage, and the willing to sit down and talk to students about it. Well, what more could you ask in a, in a good graduate program? And. Uh... So I, I remember just walking around Grasshopper with he and my dad, uh, looking at the site and listening to them talk about it. And, you know, in part, I think that's what reinforced the archaeology bug in me professionally as well. Um, and the Super Bowl. And, oh, yeah, the Super Bowl. That was almost a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Green Bay was his team. Mm -hmm. He once he gave an entire lecture in the history of archaeological theory wearing a cheese slice on his head. And Tim came to class and wore his Vikings helmet. So you had a student in class wearing his Viking helmet and Bill up front lecturing on God only knows what in archaeological theory, wearing this cheese slice on his head. Being very distinguished and not laughing ever. It was hilarious. But, but so he loved to cook big meals on his respective holidays. And he would always say the orphans are always welcome. And that was any student, anybody who didn't have a place to And we'll let you start by just telling your name and then start off with the first story you'd like to tell us. My name is William A. Longacre. Many of my students call me Uncle Willie. That's a story later. <laughs>